Okay, Malachi chapter 2. <clears throat> Staying with context. We are in the Old Testament. And now, O ye priests. Verse 4. Levi. Now there are some that will go over to Revelation, chapter 1. Revelation 1. Verse 5, and from Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loves us and watched us from our sins and our own blood. Reading. Here somewhere. Revelation chapter 1. There's a place here that says, Made us to be priests. I well, I just read it. Verse 6, and has made us kings and priests, and it reverted up unto God the Father. So those who go run over to this verse here will see we're priests. Okay, yeah, we do form the priestly function of prayer. And they'll say, well, we go to the altar. There is no prayer altar. Will you stop putting this under the Old Testament? I don't take anybody's sheep, goat, Bullock, bird, and sacrifice. And the priest that the Christian is, is we offer up prayers. Made us king. Well, we're not reigning right now. Paul said to the Christian church, I support to God that you were reigning. But we're not. Some will, but not all. Back to Malachi. So we can uh, spiritualize, but we are in the Old Testament, a group of men only, of the children of Levi, of Jacob, who have an office of God, by God, of a building. And they have specific rules and regulations on who can and who can't. And they have, if I may use the term very loosely, they have religious holidays, solemn feasts. And you go to your average Baptist church, you know, they got the prayer altar. And we have Easter and Christmas. Some will have the devil's dump, dump a tree. And then, you know, the, the watch night in January 1st. Oh, no, you can't find Sunday school in the, in, in the Bible. But yeah, it was never there. But what you don't see in the modern church today, the Baptist churches, you don't see people in a church and it's the middle of the night and one man falls out of the window because he's falling asleep. No, you got to be out at exactly at noon. Or the cars in the parking lot turn into pumpkins or something. Or you got to wait in a longer line at, at, at the restaurant. And we're in the day and age today. Oh, forget about Sunday night. There'll be many days age before COVID. Forget about the midweek service. 
You know, under the Old Testament, you could, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's say Passover. It's Passover. Well, we don't need to go. They got Israeli idol on tonight. We really want to watch that. <laughs> yeah. And thank God we're under grace. So ye priests, we're looking at priests. They started, why do you keep mocking the church? Why do you keep because the church thinks there's something today and they're not. And they'll turn around and say, Well, we're not under the law. Okay, where's the prayer altar? Welcome to and it's something like, so God, we're in the house of the Lord this morning on the Lord's Day. Uh, you're not in the house of the Lord. It's not the Lord's day. And God never called it Sunday. I would even laugh at the fact is, according to the Jewish calendar, which I believe God followed, we're not even the right correct date. We're not in the right correct year. If you're going to do the Bible, don't go by a Pope calendar. All right. If you will not hear, okay, you can apply that to the church age today. They will not hear. The priest. All right, you want to talk about Christian? They will not hear. It's going to be a great illustration. The King James Bible is the all Bible of all Bibles and the Bibles to be a Bible. And here's information about the King James Bible compared to the Antioch. That's garbage. I don't want, don't you bring that to my people anymore. How dare you? How dare you try to correct the people? That's garbage. That was a pastor that said that. You think the King James Bible came right out of the mouth of Jesus? Thank you, I'll use that. If ye will not lay it to heart. There are people, and this is throughout all the church ages. And there are people right now, in, in Malachi, the Old Testament. They go to service with God. Really, when's this over with? Listen, I've been in there. I've been in church services. Oh, come on. Will you hurry up? I've been in church services like, we're done, that's it? Wow. Wow. To give glory unto thy name, God's name. If you're going to go to church, you know, you know what a great church we have, what a great pastor we have. You go there for the glory of God. Isn't this a great building? There are people who meet, and they're meeting in the middle of the jungle, and their roof is the tree line. We just met a missionary who don't even have a roof on their church. And they meet. He you imagine somebody there and they're sitting there and the clouds are rolling in? Then we just have a great church building. Yeah, it'd be great if we had the ceiling right now. Huh? I love to see the pictures of missionaries on my Facebook and I get them. <clears throat> they got those plastic chairs. You know, they don't stack, you stack them on top of another. They're outdoor chairs. Now, I look at those chairs, those chairs, those chairs, and I think about there's one church. You know, we got the original pews. <laughs> and we got the ice hockey game for the students and the couches down there for everybody have kind of fun. Ooh. You go out and witness? No, we don't go out and do nothing. Oh, this is going to be a message. I know a church, they had all these, I mean, the chairs were comfortable. They weren't terrible. Well, we we got to go get some pews because a Baptist church ain't a Baptist church unless you got pews. You said that about the steeple. I guess now you're saying about the fellowship hall. Are you there in the name of the Lord Jehovah? Save the Lord of hosts. Do you get up Sunday morning? Is it I'm going to church or I'm going to go? Uh, listen, I, I have been many times saying, Lord, I'm in a fall. Not right now, not presently, but church isn't bad. I, I'm in a, just a bad church. They don't even have the right Bible. Not, but Lord, I'm going to go for you. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can help me to help somebody in the Lord. It's not about that building. 
You know, the, the churches today, they want the 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 in the book of Acts. They're only book of Acts. But they didn't have a building. I will even send a curse upon you. Uh-oh. I will curse your blessing. That, that sounds like an oxymoron. God is blessing them, but they are not. That's America. That's your Baptist churches. We are widely blessed by God. And President Biden has given some kind of award to queer Elton John. A sodomite. Man, we're running out of coffin nails. You ought to take that guy in the classroom and show him how to use a penis. <clears throat> what did he say? You know what I just said. The man is involved with another man with two penises. That's not God. Let's be open. Let's be out. Let's be plain. But he sings good. Yeah, so there's some preachers and the Bible says in Corinthians that they're of Satan. Oh, that might be. Yea, I have cursed them already. Because he do not lay it to heart. You realize the churches are closing? There was a there was a report. I forget which which agency. In America, Christianity is dying over the years. I don't know what kind of Christianity. I guarantee it's not true biblical Christian. But Christianity is dying. Because you can't fool the people. You got all this that 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 you know. Three nickels for a dollar to throw the little ring on the coke bottle and get yourself a what would Jesus do bracelet? It's all a heart issue. And you get you didn't say this prayer. If it didn't come from the heart, it's not salvation. If you don't go and do something. Because you want to do something for God, God ain't involved in it. You, you, we're going to use this book in a moment. Well, not in a moment. Give, 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 give. If your heart's not in giving, keep, 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 keep. You don't want the Baptist preacher to hear me say that. Paul says God loves a cheerful giver. You can't give it cheerfully. Don't give it. Oh my God, don't you say that? You don't have faith for not getting. No, you don't have faith in paying your bills. Preacher, everything you do has got to be done of the heart. What will be the curse for the Christian? Wood, hay, or stubble ashes? But Jesus, I, 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 I did this. I did that. I did this. You didn't do it for me. I've been in churches where the, where the pastor's taking the person, and the person goes because of the pastor. That little boy who mommy has to drag to church, he ain't getting no credit for going to church. When that little boy grows up, gets dressed and all that, mama's sick, he finds a way, and he ends up in church with mama's sick in bed. He's there in church because he found some way, he got some way. God said, hey, I like that. Behold, I will corrupt your seed. Now, I don't know if that seed is in tomatoes and carrots. And, or that's the children's seed. And spread dung or doo-doo upon your face. <laughs> that's God speaking. We just got a great service here. We just got, oh, we got, God says, let me take this crap and just smear it in your face. When the doo doo hits the fan. By the way, that doo doo is unclean. And the law there's prescribed if if you go 
if you get up in the middle of the night and you go potty, you're unclean for a little bit of time. If you had an accident, you're unclean. Well, what are you if you got dung all over your face? Even the dung of your solemn feast, what is that? That goes with last night's message. All the lame, blind, scurvy animals. God says, let me have their doo-doo. Let me have their crap. Come here, priest. <laughs> You realize what did Jesus do when he was in the temple? When he made the cord of cord of rope, he whipped everybody, knocked the tables over, scattered the animals. Right. Well, when he scattered the animals and let the what was what was happening in the temple? They were going potty on the temple. You're not going to have a sheep sit there. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go party. No, he's just, I've been to a penny zoo and all that. I've been to a cow fields. Like, they don't care. They're just going to do what they need to do. If, if you're there or not, and it's going to happen. Don't ever get behind a cow. Luckily, I had a warning. There's the animal going potty. In the temple, where they tied him to the altar, and God says, you just scoop me up a nice, give me a priest. <laughs> You're unclean. And wouldn't you also think you'll be a laughing stock of the other priests in the nation? Do you see what God did to him? Do you realize, if we were to see, if we would be, I forget their names, but the husband and wife that lied to Peter and lied to God and lied to the Holy Spirit about the money and God dropped them dead right there. Can you imagine that happened to the churches today? And the lies to see in church age where God said, you're walking down the middle of the road and you make me vomit. You take Malachi and what the, what the lies to see in church age is you got vomit and crap. Malachi is the close of the Old Testament. Glad to see it is the close of the church. I'm not going to say anything good because there's nothing to say, and I'm part of Glad to see church age. And one shall take you away with it. You know what you took with with the, the crap and the dunk? You took it off to an unclean spot, and God said to take you along with it. You see, the church age today, maybe during Malachi, but I'm not sure during Malachi, is everything we're doing, we, we think we please God. God is just so pleased with us. How can you read Revelation chapter 3? Oh, you're the excluded group of people. Ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant agreement might be with Levi, that's the son of Jacob, the office of the priesthood. All priests were Levites, but not all Levites were priests. That's the family. That's the family on Moses, Aaron, and Miriam came out of. That's the family of all family. You can't brag on Judah yet because the, the, the Messiah hadn't come. And when the Messiah did come, well, they crucified him. Who crucified him? The family of Levi. The priest, the high priest, the Sadducees, Pharisees. Oh, that really pleased God. Well, God, God hates the sin, but loves the sinner. What do you think God felt about the ones that said, Crucify him! My covenant agreement was with him of life and peace. The covenant he made with Levi is you are. I honor the firstborn. Instead of taking the firstborn of Israel, I'm going to take the tribe of Levi. I'm going to give you an office. I'm going to give you a job. You're not even going to get inheritance of the land. 
you're going to get to be my ambassador. You're going to labor in the temple. You are going to be the spokesman between me and the people. And I gave them him for the fear wherewith he feared me. Levi feared God. We learn now. You think the two chapters we read right now, do you think they fear God? Well, that's a blind one. God will take it. Well, surely God will understand my son's baseball is better than a Wednesday night. Surely God must understand I gotta get more I gotta spend more money on the dog and cat food than put in the plate. My busy week, you want me to read the Bible? You want me to have prayer with my family? You want me to study the Bible with my family? And then these are the ones that say, Oh, we're just great. We're just wonderful, great, and all that. And we're just going to be wonderful, great. You didn't do nothing. I gave them to him for fear with him that he found me, and that he feared me, and was afraid before my name. We've got Christians today, and the Christian name, what do you think the Christian name? They were first called Christians in Antioch. They were Christ. When they were first called Christians in Antioch, that wasn't a good name. That was, <laughs> you're one of those, like that guy who was on Jerusalem. A fruity tooty kind of woody, ha ha, holy runner. It wasn't a good name. It was an insult. They have tested, they have asked people, and even I have witnessed, witnessed in my public ministry, I'm a Christian, but I don't believe what Jesus said. I don't believe what Jesus, I, I'm a Christian, I don't believe that it's the inferior word of God. Excuse me, what kind of, what part of Christ don't you understand? New Frangle, here we go, we got the Jesus garbage can. It's got the Jesus brand that came down and been anointed by the Holy Spirit. It'll make your garbage nice and holy for you for $19.99 love offering. We will give you this garbage can. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, our church will have this worldly, carnal activity. But we're going to do it in the name of Jesus. So God will bless it. How wonderful we are. Great I am. And they're making a mockery of the name of Christ. And the Bible says, in the law, and the Bible says to Paul, Thou shalt not take the name in the Lord's name in vain. They say, Well, you can't say Jesus Christ like that. You can't say G D. It also means you can't get, oh Lord God bless. We're just so wonderful here. Oh, what a great service. Here we are in God's house in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's taking the name the Lord's name in vain, too, you know. You get that man gets up in the pulpit, but Jesus says, Jesus, 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 Latin Jesus, 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 Latin Jesus. Now let's eat Jesus. Let's drink Jesus. And that's vain. You get the Baptist church, you know, we're going to have a Jesus fellowship. We're going to have Jesus jump in for Jesus. We're going to have a Jesus makeup. We're going to have Jesus on your face. We're going to have Jesus this. We're gonna, and <laughs> I live up north. You get the colored women. Oh, Jesus is my favorite. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I just love Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I said, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. That's taking the name of Jesus in vain. I ain't no. There are two men. One man said, Oh, Jesus, I'm glad I'm not like that guy. I'm wonderful, great. Don't do this. Don't do that. How are you doing? Woo! Here's your Baptist. There's one guy. He don't even want to look up to God. God, I hope you mercy to me for a sinner.
No, you see, when we put, well, you can't say Jesus Christ like that. You can't say GD. So I'm okay. We're, we can vainly use the name. Oh, no, no, you cannot. And I've been in these Baptist churches. I forget what it was, and I, I know I messed it up. But I was in a church. Well, we can't play bingo. And they did something with Jesus. Instead of having bingo, they laid to Jesus or something. Well, you know, we're doing it for Jesus. No, you're not. You're doing it for the flesh. You're doing it for carnality. You have no fear of the name of Jesus. I talk to I mean, listen, I've been through a lot. I want things in my life. I'm pleasing the Lord. And one passage said, this asks you, why don't you just quit? What's stopping you from quit? What's stopping you from killing yourself? Yeah, I mean, you said you. Because I fear God. He said, what do you mean? Well, if I stop serving the Lord, he's going to get my attention. He's going to bring the whip out, and I don't want that whip. I want to serve the Lord. And if I if I take my life, and I and Jesus up there, like, uh, what are you doing here? That's the fear of the Lord. Yeah, you got troubles and problems, so does everybody else. I, I had a preacher say, you know, if you come with me, I'll give you this place. You can have everybody, everybody from the first row over to the back row will be sitting, and they'll be all praying the prayer. <laughs> I don't want that. That's not real. You better honor the name of Jesus. Shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. He shall call him Emmanuel. It means God is with us. God ain't with many of these Baptist churches. God's here. Yeah, Satan. God can't be in a Baptist church where they're handing out Catholic daily breads. And they say, hey, you know, excuse me, the infallible word of God. We don't believe in the infallible word of God here. Well, we're not going to mark religions here. Don't say that about other people. Matter of fact, every time you pass a church building, kind of just pray for them. Well, I thought the Bible said rebuke, exhort. I thought Moses and Peter and Paul and uh, I just read today in my reading that they name names. Well, you can't name names. And see, the thing is, the name of God, the name of Jesus today, it's. It's just any other name. The Catholics have more name for Mary than they, the Baptist Christians have for Jesus. And don't tell me I come from I come from a Catholic church. The law of truth that I ain't many of your Baptist churches. Not that you got all kinds of any kinds of Bibles, but the King James. I got one church in mind. Yes, he's talking about us. Yes, I am. The law of truth what was, was, was in his mouth, Levi and a priest. Was his past tense. Something happened. You know, we can go down the Baptist history, church history, we can go down the King James English Bible history. We can do that's all fine, but since the Philadelphian church age closed that door and we aren't allowed to see in church age, where do we stand, Satan? Satan's in the church and Jesus Christ is standing outside the church. Revelation chapter 3. And when you say that with Malachi, where do you think Satan is? Satan's right there at the altar when they're bringing the blind, the lame, and all that. Hi, how you doing? We've already read from the prophets. There are false prophets. We already know there are false priests. Iniquity was not found in his lips. He didn't sin with his lips. 
Again, listen, I'm telling you from I'm telling you from experience. People don't realize. I, I know preachers that get up there, they will tell you a story. Oh, that sounds great. That's a preacher story. That's a story they were told in college. But they put them in it. That's a lie. You can't say, well, you know, when I was when I was going to school in this class right here, I heard this story. And they don't realize there's a man sitting out there in the pews. He's a doctor. He's been through seminary. And he's been taught about people like you. <laughs> he's sitting there. And I've been in churches. Now, listen, I ain't talking about the present church. I mean, I've been in church, all eyes closed, heads bowed. Oh, I see that hand. I'm in the back row like, I don't see no hand. What's going on here? I've seen him say, eyes closed, all heads bowed, of course, style in the back row, doesn't have his head bowing on. And I see the wife or the usher. One, two, three, four, five. We don't want them to know if we're counting. So if the law of truth was in his mouth and it's gone, it means they're lying. Presently. Iniquity. We already seen last night the weariness. And you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it like this hand, man. I mean, everything and we have to the red out. Man, oh, man. Oh, here comes in the night. Another sheep. That's five sheep so far. I wanna go. <laughs> Eli's sons had that. And Eli couldn't even step up the plate and I don't want to offend anybody. He that sleep I walk with me in peace in equity because he did right. The churches today, well, we got to get together on the committee. We got to get to be, we got, how can we get more people for EBS this month? How can we get more people to visit us in, in the fellowship? You know, that church down the street's got this. If VBS is so good, how come the Catholics are doing it now? I don't know, listen, VBS may have been good at one time, but not the VBSs I've been in. If you want peace and equity, you got to speak the truth no matter what happens, no matter who gets offended. And you cannot have iniquity in your mouth. You can't have, a, you know, rumors and boasting and lying and grapevining. And did turn many away from iniquity. What they got peace and iniquity is they took people who were doing wrong. They were in iniquity, and they led them out of iniquity. Hey, listen, come here. All right, I know you brought, I know you brought these sheep and all, but you know that. You know, what you're doing, you can bring all the sheep you want. You're not right with God. Your heart's not right. And you got these churches today, they lead them into, into iniquity. I know a pastor's wife, you know, you know, Jesus died on Good Friday and he was resurrected Easter Sunday. And I told her husband about it, I said, that's pagan. I don't care, we're going to still do it. East, I mean, Christmas is, is, is not Jesus' birthday, I know, but the people like it. And, we have gifts for Jesus, like Jesus needs a roll of toilet paper. Jesus, you're the holiest holy. Jesus, 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 great his name I know. Here is a bottle of Windex. Jesus, up in there. where can I use that?
You know what that birthday for Jesus is? That takes off the money from the church accounts. The church doesn't have to pay for the, the coffee paper and the toilet paper. That gives more money for the pastor to blow. I can't believe he said that. I can't believe you're so naive. Come up for and say this prayer to be saved. That's not how people get saved. I know a family. and The guy been divorced three times. And I guess the, 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 the previous marriage, he stepped out on his wife. And the pastor got up there, read this letter, they're being the church and all that, and the wife and, and, the, and the children just distraught and all that. And The next week I see the pastor's vehicle at the man's garage where he owned and worked. And then when I try to, try to talk to the wife, I don't have anything to do with you. I don't have anything to do with that. Uh-huh. That was your buddy. And you're going to tell me, touch not my annoying, do my prophets no harm, but behind your death. That's what the preachers are like. I've dealt with them. I had one preacher, I'll tell you right now, I won't tell you no names, but you tell them I don't care. Uh, listen, Pastor, we'll see you next week. But the decoration for that BBS, you've gone out of control. That's ridiculous. Uh, you just, I can't think of the word, you just, your focus is going to be on the, on the decorations, not the message. Well, you don't need to come back here. Two weeks later, well, you know, your wife did this, you did that, you don't work, and you got a bumper sticker on your car, your child, is, your dog is smarter than a, that's it. That's what you can come up with? And by the way, when COVID came out, all the bars shut down, that was God answering my prayer. You prideful. You're pride. You're somebody. Oh, this is great message. You must turn people Away from iniquity. I had a man, I had a preacher come out when we preach on the street. What are you doing? You're supposed to be the church. You're supposed to be inviting them to church. I ain't inviting them to church nothing. I'm trying to tell them they're lost. They're going to hell unless they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the plain, simple thing. Jesus said, preach the gospel. He didn't say go out there and preach abortion is murder. Yes, abortion is murder. That's not for the lost people. I have many Christians I've silently went up to. I told them, say, that's wrong. What you're doing is wrong. That's not right. What you said is not right. For the priest's lips should, all right, I read Revelation 1, we should be priests. The priest's lips should keep knowledge. Okay? Proverbs 9. Should keep knowledge. Go to your typical Baptist church. I'm Baptist, that's why I say Baptist. They're coming out of the Sunday school classroom. Say, excuse me, Sonny. Excuse me, teacher. Can I stop ten, 10 of these children at random or you pick out 10 children? Yeah, sure. Hey, kiddies. Can anybody tell me the name of the 12 disciples? Can any of you kiddies give me the name? <coughs> the twelve children of Israel, twelve tribes. Can any children give me the seven names of the church? Can any you children tell me any of the books that Paul wrote? How many children can tell me who's on your ball team? Who's on this ball team? Who were the semifinals in American Idol last week? 
Who's on the Republican ticket? Who are the name of the of the characters in that movie you like? Who played the characters in the movie you like? What denominations are there of the United States money? All right, what denominations are there of the Israeli money? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Knowledge! Look at, look at Proverbs 9, 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Didn't, didn't we just talk about the fear? And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. There's no fear of the Lord today, so there's no wisdom. I don't know anything about the Bible. I can tell you he's going to start the Yankees lineup next week. I can tell you the stats and information from all the pro balls. I can tell you the winner of all the Kentucky Derby horses. I can tell you all the movies that that guy played in. Now you see, you know, the rainbow belongs to God, and we got to take it back. It never said rainbow in Genesis. And to make sure you knew it didn't say rainbow, rainbow shows up in Revelation as around God's throne, and it's green. Huh? What? One more place. Chapter 30. Proverbs 30. This is the words of Hagar. Hagar says, you're typical of many of your Baptists. Verse 3. I neither learn wisdom nor have knowledge of the holy. That's your Baptist verse for today. Give me three verses on any particular subject. I had a church. Go back to Malachi. I had a church. They didn't have deacons. They had trustees. Where do you find that? And not one of those men matched the qualifications for the deacons of the Bible. One of them got up several times Sunday school and blew the Sunday school lesson <laughs> right out of the water. And right after Sunday school lesson, guess what Stolly's doing? He's got his Bible in his arm. Hi. Hey. You know what you just said is wrong? Oh, I, well, I, I heard other men say it. And I don't care. This is what the Bible says. Hey, at one time, he, he said that they tied a rope around the priest. Well, see, look right there. It says rope. I said, you kidding? Well, no, look right there. I said, that's R-O-B-E. In the English language, that's rope. That's not rope. You have to twist the scriptures to prove your point. We didn't stay friends long. The priest shall keep knowledge. What's that now? Peter says we ought to be ready to give answer. You say you're a Christian? Yes, I am. What's it? What's it take to be a to, to be a, a Christian? Hold on. Hello, Pastor. I got a person here. They want to know what a Christian is. Can you talk to them? I don't care. You're in a hospital having a colonoscopy. This guy needs to know about Jesus right now. They don't know. Never do they take the scriptures home or what they heard out of the pulpit and check it out. They should seek the law of his mouth. We have a law, even though we're under grace, we have a law that's, that's in our mouths. 
a commandment by Jesus. We're to love all. We're, we're, we're not to hate anybody. We're not to spread idol gospel. You mean like, did you hear that Lisa is, is sleeping around against Stiley and Stiley's sleeping around with other women and, and they're doing it when they're on the phone at work talking to each other at lunchtime. While my wife and I, while on her lunch period, while she was having her lunch, we were talking on the phone. We worked through different shifts. The, the, the Baptist church, we were having an affair. And they named names. And then later on, when they got all upset, the, Baptist, the, the, the preacher was having an affair. And they left and started the church. Oh, we got the original pews. We got pool tables and for, for them to sit down and cover. And we, we called the newspapers and said, look at the pool tables. Look at the nice comfy chairs we have for the, for the kids to come and sit down and, and, and the group room and all that. And Stiley wrote an editorial to the newspaper. Boy, I got I got a call for the preacher. Hi, hey, preacher. It's good for you to call me. What's you that, what's that thing you wrote in the newspaper? I said, you're totally freaking wrong. It ain't about pews. It's about... Witnessing. Oh, you see, you know, while they're there, we talk about Jesus. He didn't say that in the article. There are churches out there where the people are ignorant, stupid, of the Bible. All, beyond all powers of me is to, to have a pastor at a church I was at, a member I was, have a pastor go up to the podium and go up to the pulpit each and every single time and not once brought his Bible. And the only time he wore a tie was the clean colors of his football team. They were going to play something that weekend. Then he wore a tie. Gee, I wonder who, I wonder who was important in his life. For he is a messenger of the Lord of hosts. We're messengers. We're to go in the world and preach the gospel. I invite him to church. That's the lazy way out. But ye are departed out of the way. You're not going the right way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. There are people. I'll tell you what. You know how bad it's gotten? When the Messiah shows up, it was the it was the high priest, it was the Sadducees, the Pharisees saying, I right, tell him crucify him. Crucify him! Tell him again. Crucify him. They didn't even know the scripture that that was their Messiah. Oh, well, you know, Messiah was gonna come and give us victory. Go, oh, hey, victory, you know, conquer our enemies. That's the second advent. They weren't ready for the first advent. The suffering Messiah. So, Israel, the rabbis teach Israel that Isaiah 53 is Israel. Israel is suffering because of the stupid Gentiles. You pulled them out of the way. You had caused them to stumble at the law. What do you think Israel is standing at today? And they're God's people. I gotta be careful. They're God's people. Where do you think Israel stands today when in February in Jerusalem they're praying around with their rainbow flags and their sodomizing? What do you think the rabbis do with that one? They were doing it in Jeremiah's time, so there's gotta be a problem. He have corrupted the covenant of Levi. And this is aimed at the priest. You were a chosen people of the chosen people to be in the chosen placement by Jehovah. And the only thing I can say for you guys is, instead of a crown, I want to take some of that animal crap and I want to rub it in your face. 
What are you going to think for the church age? Let's say your pastor is saved. You're at the judgment seat of Christ. Your pastor turns around and walks away. Ha! <laughs> pastor? What? Where's the crown? Oh, shut up. Pastor, where, where is it? Shut up. Well, look at that guy over there. He used to be in our church. He was in our church. He, he tries to, you said he was wrong on that. And look at the crowns he's got. Shut up. Shut up. We had a group of people. Oh, boy. Yes, Jesus. You know this man here? Yeah, he was in our church. Yeah. Why has he got so many crowns on him? We're getting ready to get, get on our horses. We're, we're going to go second advent. Okay. And I'm going to give him this city. Okay. You guys are going to be under him. I sent him into your church to learn. I sent you into his your church to, to, to adhere, to be corrected. I sent him in your church like Jeremiah and you rejected him. You rebuked him. You ain't going to reject him, rebuke him now. You spend the next thousand years with your church people saying, Why? 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 Is, why? What happened? Why did you say he was wrong and he wasn't wrong? And, and another church, Pastor, all those, all those gifts I brought to Jesus on his birthday, and I was told that was paganism. After that man said it was paganism. We were told it was paganism and, and, and we you said it wasn't paganism and then and, and after that we didn't get nothing. What do you mean that prayer didn't save me? What do you mean to part from you? I said a prayer. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base. You're the bottom. Before all the people. That's the judgment seat of Christ. There it is. Many of your men who you call pastors, that great preacher and all that, they're going to be a base. They're going to be bald. They're going to be naked. According as he had not kept my way. That's the church age. But have been partial. You've been biased in the law. I'm telling you, you see, you keep picking on the church, you keep on picking the church. There's coming a day you're gonna you're gonna wish I listened to that man. I listened. I wish I listened to Stiley. because he was speaking the truth, and the men that we following were wrong. That you can go prove me, and you can go prove them. But you know, it, it's sorry. I'm gonna make this one last statement. This is about Easter. This is with Facebook and. Changing history. Facebook has challenged me on Estar. When I say Estar is Easter, Facebook fat people come up. Well, we have proven this to be. It's wrong. Our our source is a Catholic, and there was some other kind of religion. So I go online for the type of blah blah blah. blah. And I have seen websites with religion. Yeah, it, it, Easter was never about that stuff. That was wrong. That's not true, in fact. And you look for the old information. 
and it's all gone. Satan's getting slick. 